Hi everybody. So let's see if we are live. Yep, it looks like we are. You should be hearing me. Okay, so today I'm going to try and finish this project. Um, it's been going on for a long time now. Um, didn't realise how long it would be when I first started it. That's okay. Um, I certainly had no idea it would take as long as it did um, and have so many ups and downs in it. The last stages, I thought I could just glue this part onto this and it would be done. But um, as I quickly discovered, it needed sealing, um, which meant having to glue the inside gently with some glue and then go round and I can still see some bits are not um, necessarily, you can see they're a little jumpy. So that's also going to need to be sorted today. Um, but I'm going to try and fix the thing on top of it and then I really want to just fix anything that is like this, that's still moving, that isn't absolutely solid right now because everything else has been um, kind of gone over with glue a lot. I've went through it with Mod Podge and I'll show you how I did that to seal it but there's there is still some of them that you know like this one that's a bit movie and I don't want them to move so I'm gonna have to seal those up. Um, this is my box of leftovers so I'm going to just try and collect them up and put them together I think the only things that are left now are like the summer type well fire almost oranges and reds so let me just gather those up and pop them away so that I'm not wasting them. Oh, there's a few greens in there. We'll put the greens in the green box. Um, so, try to clear, clear the box away a little bit. I mean, this has been really fun to make. Um, I certainly think I learned a lot about quilling doing a bigger project like this. Um, my, I started on the rabbits and they turned out very quick and easy which was a bit deceptive for them because I thought this project might be quick and easy. So these are the rabbits and I think they came out really really cute um, and very very well for Easter. I'm just getting all my ducks in a row rather rabbits, in this case rabbits. Um, let me just put the greens back in packets as well. That way um, I know where I am. And there's a few others. So I think there's blacks there. Um, we'll put that in the black. I've seen how people um, kind of keep these in order with toilet tubes, and that's an interesting and probably clever method of actually keeping these in line. Um, Browns, oh, we have a lot of browns. So, just doing a quick tidy up before I start. So, in order to glue these together, I've got a bottle of Mod Podge because that's um, that's like sealant really. I'm 
I'm going to glue the two together with Mod Podge, but I'm also going to seal the whole thing as well with it. So let me just get the browns back in their packet. making sure there's not many left behind here. Okay, so those are kind of most of the packets put away. There's a few left out, but I think I'm good because they're just little scraps that I will use next time. Let's see if I can persuade them all to go back in the box. She says, please go in the box. So that'll no doubt pop open on my next project <laughs> in a very pop-up way. Okay, so that's my quilling box. Okay. There we go. Also, my quilling pieces there, but uh, they're going to stay out. Okay, I'm putting this off now, aren't I? Right, let's get to it. Um, I'll use that in a moment with that for final glazing. In the meantime, let's see if we can actually get this onto it. Ooh, the final moment has come. So time to start gluing around the pointy edges. wherever I can, wherever I think it might touch. Okay. this point I'm guessing but it's not going to hurt having a little bit of touch glue in there just at this point so let's see oh. doesn't quite go together and I knew that this would be a final problem so how Okay, so some of them kind of go together very easily. Okay, great. And I'll use those to lock the whole thing in place. So if you're going to just, great. And that's what I'll do. So there's a lot of places here where it's not even coming close to touching. Um, which I knew that might be the case. So, I am just going to tease in the parts, the parts that will, I'm, I'm trying to push in. Okay, so we have kind of a 
a roughish place for them. It's definitely not a perfect fit, but I'm just gonna, for now, I'm gonna take that and try and <laughs> now. I definitely, definitely, definitely need to have some ways of pushing these two together. Um, I think what's going to happen is I'm going to have a top and a bottom that's not quite going together. So what I am going to do, I'm going to put it in a cart with a top and a bottom and I'm going to wrap some tape around it this is totally mm -mm -mm. because I need them to press together but I need them to go w to be able to find out where the holes are so that I I'll circle in some holes um, circle in I mean I'll put circles in the holes but firstly, I need to pressure this together just a little bit. And the best way of doing that is to just push it. Onto it and kind of try and try and keep it in the shape I want it to stay in. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Going very, very well, clearly. Right. I'm going Oh, that was the end of that roll, I think. Right. Now it's kind of pushed into place. Hopefully. terribly well this nope <laughs> oh man okay So I need my glue that just fell on the floor. Uh, and it's all done. Okay. Da, da, da. You. I don't want to hold this until it's dry, that's the thing. I can see that. It's going to need a lot more than I'd ever hoped. It's 
if I gently tape it. Trying to just push it and mould it into, into the places I really want this to go. Because I def I think this is going to be a, like, glue it, walk away, and then fill in the gaps with um, some circles. And I'm good with that because I did think that in the beginning. So yeah, let me just tape that in and hopefully I can find out once it's been taped. Like I think there's going to be a few spots here and here where I'll be able to just perhaps merge them together. If I can just push that one together, I think I'll be all right. Yep, okay. And then we'll merge, I'll just push this this in and I think because yeah a little push here and there okay so I feel like we might stand a chance of that actually holding um, so that I feel very good about. I can't put it in there because it's not, it's not going to hold that. But I definitely feel like that's a good shape from the outside. It took a while to get this in. But I think there's going to be like a few, perhaps not that big, but there's going to be a few little places where a little circle is going to just fill it and look, make it look complete. So let me just hold that for a second more. and then once that's glued and dried today I will then take my brush and modge podge and I will dab that over the top to finalize it and finish it off so this now just has to dry and I think we're good like I'm I'm kind of happy with how that's going to look I think let's wait to find out
So I'm going to just pop it in there and let it dry. And that's that.